So one thing that got me pretty excited um, in this version of Houdini were the recipes. Um, and uh, I'm just going to try and talk briefly about them. Uh, I haven't explore them fully um, but uh, but I feel that they are really interesting and, and really valuable so basically recipes are the new presets uh, and um, the kind of the new way to record presets the new way to record um, notes um, and it's it's pretty interesting and I think uh, they're gonna keep building up uh, on it because it looks like it still doesn't have the full features um, but I'm gonna just uh, talk briefly about them and uh, show how I usually do presets now and, and how the recipe system uh, changes that. Um, so there are loads of ways to do presets. Uh, I use two um, main ones uh, and uh, so I'm going to show the, those first. So let, let's imagine I have a grid um, and I want to save a preset with a grid like this right uh, like a uh, you know I let's let's imagine you know I use th this size of grid uh, and I want to save a preset of this um, this is pretty easy so I just go here to the this settings icon here um, parameter editor and then uh, I just now it's called legacy presets um, and I just save the preset save a preset give it a name and um, and that's it you know and it will show up on this list so you do that like for example I have a preset which uh, creates like a regular grid uh, so it creates a like a parameter a density parameter and uh, no matter the size of this uh, it will always create a regular grid. So the problem with these presets is that um, now if I apply the preset again, so let's let's imagine I want this uh, plane like this. Uh, I apply the preset again, and it just goes back to the uh, to the form that was saved. So basically, it's recording all the attributes. And I know that this is possible to change. Uh, I think those presets are in a file and you can go and um, and tweak that but I don't want to do that so the new uh, presets is uh, much better because it doesn't do that so let's imagine I want to record this as a preset um, or you know, I want to record this as a preset just go here recipes save not preset just give it a name test preset uh, I can choose which um, parameters are going to be recorded like let's uh, imagine I actually don't want to record this size so I'm just gonna turn it off and then um, the name uh, I can also say uh, okay so I want to show this preset here so it shows up on the on this new menu here I can also set up uh, where I want this uh, preset to show up so for example on all grid uh, objects or or any SOP node or on specific uh, custom um, nodes right so like for example I want this preset to appear on the sphere for example it doesn't make much sense um, sometimes because you know the sphere doesn't have the exact same parameters uh, but let's imagine that I want because now if I come here it doesn't show up my preset right but um, I can edit that and I can say okay this is showing up on a on a SOP grid but I want to show it to show on a SOP here too save this and now here we have the, the preset but you know it gives you an error because the, it doesn't have the same parameters right uh, so then we have this uh, recipe manager here where we can see what we created I have a few uh, ones that I was testing this is ours I can go and edit them uh, and uh, you know for now 
I don't need it, so I'm going to delete it. Okay, so now let's uh, let's try uh, the other two uh, modes, uh, which are um, I actually they don't show because you need to connect something here. Let's connect uh, copy viewpoints. Um, so if I select both nodes uh, and come here, you can see another two, right? So the preset we already covered. Uh, so now let's cover the tool. So the tool, um, it's also very useful. And I, the way I used to do this was, um, so let's, let's imagine I want to copy some points to a grid. Let's connect this grid here. So I want this setup. Okay. So, um, let me just use the preset, which I don't have, I, I have it here. I, I still have to save it to the new uh, preset um, recipes. So, so let's, let's have this. Uh, so I want to save this setup. You know, so you, let's imagine I use this a lot. Uh, so I just come here, right click, recipes and choose uh, save selected items as tool and I have a similar window but this time I have my network here uh, and I can um, record it uh, with the name test uh, tool uh, and I can do um, the same thing I can actually choose uh, so these ones will actually show up on this menu uh, uh, actually, let me go back a bit, and uh, I'm going to show you the the way I used to do this before. So, so you can actually grab a tree and just put it there, give it a name. Uh, actually, this is giving me CP because I already had done this. So I have it here now. So if I click, it shows up, uh, and it also shows up here. Uh, not this one this is an, another one so it shows up here cp test okay so um yeah but what i want to do is actually to use the new recipes so let's do that right click recipes save items as tool uh, give it a name <coughs> uh, and um you know, you can also change the icon and uh, you can actually say where do you want it to uh, appear under your tab menu. I'm going to leave it default. And uh, um, for now, that's it. Save. And now if I right click and come to recipes, I have it here. OK, um, but it has uh, another really interesting uh, functionality. So let's imagine I want to save this. Uh, let's uh, let's scatter some points, and uh, I want a more generic uh, setup, right? So I don't want the grid or the clone or the the ob the object of e copied. I only want these two because I know that I'm going to use these two, but I might not want a sphere. I might not, might not want a grid, right? Um, so we can save it like this. And then we can choose which node is the anchor node. So if I choose this as the anchor node, um, let's uh, do it again. Test oh, CP test. So I chose this as the anchor node. So now let's uh, imagine I uh, want to copy spheres. Uh, if I create that. Uh, recipe it will connect automatically to uh, the anchor node so it will connect my object automatically to the, to the anchor node let's imagine that um, now I have a grid um, or actually let's disconnect this again and let's save it but now uh, we'll change the anchor node so now the anchor node is this one right and it automatically jumped to this one because when I selected all of them and right clicked I right click on top of the scatter right so if I do that it will automatically choose the scatter as my anchor node so CP test 
to save and now I have a grid and it will use that one to connect uh, to be the first to be connected right it doesn't matter right so any any object sorry right uh, so this is pretty useful so now we have um, the <clears throat> decoration, uh, which is the other mode. Uh, so, and I can already show you this uh, happening because uh, I've created one already, I think. So if I create a scatter and then I come here and choose my description that I created before, it will create all the nodes around that scatter. So how, how do we do that? Let's let's see. Uh, so I want to create a new description. I have these nodes. Right click on the scatter. This time I'm going to right click on the copy to points. Recipes. Save selected items as decoration. Now I can choose which uh, parameters do I uh, keep um, recorded. And now my uh, this node is actually the central node. This one, I can change it to this one if I want. Uh, but now the copy to points is the central node. Uh, CP3. And now when I create a copy to points, it will create the nodes around it, right? So if I add a no here, Now let's create another recipe. So let's see, B4. Uh, yeah, now the scatter will be the, the anchor node. Uh, that's the central node, actually. And, um, you know, I, I want to this to happen only on scatter uh, sobs. I could also change it, like, uh, the previous mode like the uh, the presets mode um, so let's see scatter and now I can choose my preset and it creates the nodes around it uh, it also has a few uh, presets already uh, so some nodes already have presets like the scatter these are my presets, but these ones are side effects presets, like, I don't know, spotted soccer balls. And, uh, yeah, here we go. I don't know if this is animated or not. No. So, so they have, they come with, with loads uh, of them. Um, so another one. We can take a look. Um, spiky deforming. Torus door with polka dots. Okay, here we go. So, uh, and you can can see that, for example, they've created a few for the new um, MPM solver. So, for example, MPM configure soft body, and uh, it takes some time, but it will create. The nodes around it and then you just have to just refresh my viewport and you just have to simulate so it's really cool and you can actually access those uh, ones here they are the read only and you can see that if you right click to edit you can't uh, i'm sure you can do something and you can copy them probably at some point uh, but you can inspect them and you can see the code so this is like a script that it's created um, like specifically for this for for the recipes uh, so I, I haven't explored this i'm not a coder but i'm, I'm going to give it a, a try and, and try to understand it uh, so um, yeah so this is pretty useful i, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, introduction uh, you know, I'm sure there's way more stuff coming because uh, actually the, the, the help file 
talks about few uh, functionalities that are not there yet uh, that, that I, I couldn't find so um, I'm sure they will update this soon and uh, enjoy um, and have fun with this uh, new Houdini version